Hey everybody, welcome to the channel, Queen at Heart, where we bring you Disney melanin and magic. I'm your girl, Janani, and today I have a Walt Disney World haul video for you guys. Let's get into it. Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. For those of you who've been rocking with me, welcome back. For those of you who are new here, welcome. I'm so glad that you decided to tune in. Today I have my Walt Disney World haul video. Some of you already know, I just recently took my very first visit to Walt Disney World just last month during spring break. I went for 10 days. It was a mother and son trip. I've dreamed of going there since I was four years old. Disneyland is my home park. I grew up in the backyard, so always went to Disneyland my whole life. So this is my first trip to Disney World and you know your girl had to do some shopping. So I'm gonna show you guys what I bought. All right, here is the bag of goodies, y'all. I secured the goods, okay? So I have this bag plus another bag that I need to share with you guys. I actually did my shopping at the Character Warehouse in Orlando. They have two locations at the premium outlets. They have one on Vineland and they have one on International Drive. One is close to the parks and the other is a little bit further out, kind of by Universal Studios Orlando. So I had to go to both because both had different things, different prices. So yeah, uh, I kind of went a little crazy, but it's okay. Discounts, discounts. So let's get into it. So the first thing we're going to get into you guys is clothes. Let me show you guys the clothes. Uh, the first thing that I bought at the outlet was this sweatshirt. It is a Pixar sweatshirt, you guys, and it has a hood. Here is the back. Isn't that cute? And then let me show you guys the inside of the lining. So here's the inside, it's blue, nothing to look at, right? But the hood, look at the lining of this hood, you guys. It is so cute, just a lightweight. I cannot wait to wear this once Disneyland opens and I can wear this at Pixar Pier. And you guys, this sweatshirt, $19.99. It was regularly $54.99. That's a steal. All right, next item. I got a windbreaker. Um, some of you guys know that before I left, Mickey Lou actually sent me a Tomorrowland, Tomorrowland, can't talk, windbreaker. And I'm so sorry, you guys, I did not get pictures in front of it. The day that we went to Magic Kingdom, it was actually really, really hot. Well, not really, really hot, but it was comfortable. I didn't need a windbreaker or anything. So I picked up this windbreaker. Y'all already know. Star Wars, honey, and it comes with a hood. This is the back of it. Awesome. Awesome, wow. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And then, you know, it's just like a regular white lining for the inside. And this one was also $19.99, regularly $49.99. All right, so next, leggings. <laughs> my life is at home now, like I work from home now. Like leggings, that's my uniform for the day usually. But I saw these cute park snack leggings. Come on now, aren't these just so stinking cute? And they had my size. I paid $14.99 for these. These are regularly $39.99, park leggings. So, so cute work from home life. The other pair of leggings that I got, y'all know how I feel about this person, y'all. Y'all already know. Powerline, come on, somebody. Yeah. Powerline leggings, y'all. Come on. These ones were actually $9.99 regularly $39.99, but y'all, I got Powerline leggings to go with my Powerline shirt. Y'all know I had to pick this up. Next, I got some sweatpants. They're like these camo Mickey sweatpants. I paid $14.99 for these. These are regularly $45. 
but here are the sweatpants and you guys they are so nice so thick so bright so colorful i got them oversized because i like my let my uh sweatpants to be kind of like baggy i really don't like them fitted but y'all like oh, look at these so cute all right t-shirts y'all know i have to pick up some shirts so i wanted the yellow one but they were all sold out so i settled for pink but this is just you know a walt disney world long sleeve this one was $14.99 um, it doesn't say how much it was originally and then on the sleeve here you see that it says Walt Disney World and then you have the emblem there as well and then on the back is nothing but I thought it was really cute to just lounge around in hang around the house so Walt Disney World long sleeve t-shirt the next t-shirt I got I saw this and I was like I have to have it I wasn't trying to go along the colors of pink but that's just how it worked out you guys look at this t-shirt it's the teacups you guys it's front and back of the t-shirt so stinking cute and this t-shirt how much did I pay for this one I paid $12.99 for it it was regularly $36.99 so you are in Orlando and you're going to Disney World, make sure that you go to the character warehouses. I'm telling you, you won't be disappointed. All right, moving on. Ears. <laughs> Y'all know I had to get some ears. Y'all know I'm like a new fan of ears. So when I saw ears, I had to get them. Let's check it out. First up, I got these. These are actually the Flower and Garden Festival ears from last year, and they had them out um i don't remember how much these actually you know what these were 2.99 2.99 is how much these were compared to what 29.99 that disney park sells them for usually but 2.99 for last year's flower and garden ears my next pair of ears is these little buddies here and they're just a simple mini ear with the red bow these were also 2.99 and then I also got the red like Christmas sparkly ones. I actually picked up a pair for myself as well as a good friend of mine. Again, $2.99 for ears, y'all. Like, come on. Next, I'm going to get into some little trinkets that I picked up. The first one was just, you know, the Baby Yoda mask. And I picked this up, you guys, for $1.99. $1.99. And then I got a couple of... Um, little things well not a couple but one one of the little things that I got was a Star Wars keychain and it's the Millennium Falcon and this is it right here and I can't remember how much I paid for this um, maybe $3.99 $4.99 something like that but it's really cute I have a friend her and her husband are big Star Wars fans so I picked this up and I'm going to give this to her the Millennium Falcon so next thing that I picked up was a pen and you guys if you saw my vlog to Hollywood Studios this is a some imagination shirt that I had made on Etsy that I wore to Hollywood Studios as well as with my Sorcerer Mickey ears when I was going to the Skyliner everybody knew where I was going the cast member was like you're going to Hollywood Studios aren't you yeah I am Fantasmic is just my favorite favorite Disney show I remember when it premiered on Rivers of America at Disneyland when I was eight years old and every time I go and it's operating I have to see it so naturally I had to pick up this pen and you guys <laughs> it is a Sorcerer Mickey pen I think I paid $2.99 for this pen or something along those lines but super super cute y'all know your girl had to get it so Sorcerer Mickey pen some imagination huh so the next small thing that I got was a luggage tag. I've been looking for a luggage tag and I saw this and I just thought it was so, so cute. So it's Finding Nemo. <laughs> mine, mine, mine. So this was actually $3.99. I paid for this and it says that the value of it is $9.99. So that's a freaking steal <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. The next thing that I got and it's actually it's really really cute because when you're at Disney parks you need your water bottle so this is a water bottle holder and for example it has it right here so if I have a bottle of water I can just put it in Mickey's hand and I, I could clip it to my backpack or something like that and it comes with like this cute little lanyard with it 
so yeah you can either clip it this way or you can clip it this way it's like your backpack or something or bag or purse or whatever but really really cute and I think I paid 99 cents for this maybe a dollar 99 I, I can't remember and it's not tagged but it was super cheap I thought it was so cute I had to pick it up next small thing that I got um, I didn't, they had a lot of phone cases. I wasn't really going crazy with phone cases just because I'm about to upgrade my phone when a new iPhone comes out later on this fall. And I wasn't trying to, you know, get all kinds of cases for a phone that I eventually was not going to have and was going to fit on the new one. So I saw this one and I just thought it was super cute. I think I paid $5 for this. It is a Chip and Dale. And I have an um, iPhone XS Max. Isn't that just so freaking cute? I love Chippendale. I grew up on Rescue Rangers and I just thought it was the cutest thing. And for $5, like, come on now. So, so another cute. thing that I got, I am a fan of coffee. I collect coffee mugs. I have way too many mugs, way too many Disney mugs, but I couldn't help myself. You guys saw in my downtown Disney haul that I did last year that I was searching for the Starbucks ceramic mugs, the Disney editions, and you guys, they have them at the character warehouse. So I had to get one of my favorite park, well, one of my favorite parks at Walt Disney World. And you guys look, it is the Starbucks ceramic mug and this is for Animal Kingdom. So stinking cute. I had to have it. And Animal Kingdom was pretty much the only one they had left. They had another park. Uh, I can't remember. Maybe it was Magic Kingdom. I'm not sure. But I knew I really, really wanted this Animal Kingdom one. And this was $7.99 is what I paid for this. These are usually, what, $20, $25, bucks, maybe $30? I can't remember. But $7.99, like, come on. All right, let's move on to bags and accessories. You guys, so the Character Warehouse, you guys, they carry bags, like backpacks, uh, crossbodies. I'm talking like Dooney, Loungefly, like they carry all that stuff. Like if Disney Park sends it, they have it. And that's another thing about the Character Warehouse. These are not knockoff items. These are Disney Park items. They come directly from the park. So first up that I got was this Walt Disney World fanny pack. Had to have it. It has so many different compartments. There's three compartments there. And then on the back, there's like more compartments. So I mean, naturally I had to have it. You know, you can just hide all of your little treasures. And then of course it has the straps so that you can wrap it around your waist, wear it as a crossbody. Um, however, your little heart desires, you can absolutely do that. I'm just going to open up these pockets so you guys just can see just how much freaking space that you can fit in this thing. Like, all the things. Like, unreal. So, I paid $9.99 for this, and this was regularly $29.99. Next up in my bag purchases, when I saw this behind the counter, I called a cast member over immediately because I knew I had to have these. So I actually got some wristlets. You guys, check out my first wristlet and it's a lounge fly wristlet. Look at that. This was regularly $40. I think I paid $19.99 if that, I'm not sure. And then of course it has, you know, a little chain if you want to carry it. You can always unhook it as well. And then they have this on the back of the flap. So what I like to do with these wristlets is if I'm going to the parks and I'm wearing a belt, I will actually loop this part through my belt. So it kind of operates as like a little mini fanny pack. So that's how I like to wear it. And I get a lot of compliments on it too. People are like, oh my gosh, I never thought about that. But yeah, totally do that with these wristlets. Totally cute. You can even do it with like the, um, the lounge fly ones, the sparkly ones with like the ears and stuff on it. Those look super cute uh, on your waist as well. Like loop through your belt, like kind of worn as a fatty pack. So super, super cute. Had to get this one. I also got another one. Y'all, are y'all ready for my other one? Y'all ready for my other one? Let me just zip this back up. I know, right? Isn't this so cute? It's an Ewok. And 
it's so fuzzy, y'all. Like, how can you go to a store and not get this? Like, come on. And like I said, I think I paid $19.99 for them, but I just thought if this was like the cutest thing, and then it's the same as a BB-8. You can hook it up to your waist, loop it through a belt, wear it as a fanny pack so you have an Ewok with you. And then here is the lining. It says Yub Nub inside of it. But it was just a super, super cute. So I had to get it. Here are my two Star Wars Loungefly wristlets, $19.99 each. Had to have. All right, my final item. My big item, <laughs> let me show you. Y'all, look what I got from the Disney character warehouse. It's a lounge fly mini backpack. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they have them there. They also have Dooney bags there. But look at this, so cute. It has the rides and they have our characters, what are they called, chibis or something like that, whatever they're called, but so cute. And then the inside, I love like the little lining. Uh, you can't really see it, but it's kind of like, you see that there, it's like green and white lining there. And then the inside is that green and light lining as well. Um, this did not come inside of it. <laughs> um, this is actually uh, a lounge fly uh, mini backpack organizer that I got off at Amazon that Miss Jessie Cherry hit me to. And this thing is amazing. So I just stuffed it in there because I took it to the parks. But yeah, <laughs> look at this. This was regularly $75 retail. You guys, I paid $29.99 for this bag. $29.99 for a lounge fly. Yeah, so had to get it. Who can blame me, right? All right, everybody, that is it for my Walt Disney World haul. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you guys learned about the character warehouses in Orlando if you didn't know about them already and if you do decide to take a trip down there and you're a Disney fan make sure that you go um, just a tip in case you do not know already if you do decide to go to the character warehouses the one that I would choose to go to is the one up north um, which is closer to Universal Studios that one is not as crowded and I found that one to have more good things and be better priced um there is also the one by disney Parks. so i mean if you can't go too far you can go to the one by disney parks i did take a lift to get to both of these places and you know my my fee was nothing um compared to all that i got and all the money that i saved also get there early the outlets when i went they opened at nine o'clock I got there about 8.30 and I was number 65 in line. They put you in a virtual queue. So the character warehouses, they have been broadcasted on YouTube, on TikTok, so everyone knows about them. So at eight o'clock, people are already lining up and queuing up to get into the virtual queue to get inside of the store. Also, the wait times. When I went to the one up north by Universal Studios Hollywood, I waited 15 minutes. To get in when i went to the one closer to walt disney world i waited almost an hour to get in um so unfortunately if you go and you ask the cast member how long am i going to wait they can't give you an answer because unfortunately you are at the mercy of the shoppers so all depending on how long these people are taking inside and checking out and who's coming out and that will determine who can come in and how many can come in and when so just those tips for you Go to the one uh, closer to Universal Studios. If you can, go to both and get there early so that you can get into that virtual queue and you can have a great shopping experience. So thank you all so much for tuning in to the channel. If you like content like this, Disney unboxings, Disney vlogs, things like that, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so that you are notified every time that I upload a new video. As always, thank you all for tuning in. I hope you all have a magical, magical day. Bye.